this video, we'll see how to link a Revit model and the different option to manage this link. Let's see how it's work. In the ribbon tab, I go to insert tab and to link panel. And from link panel, I go to link a Revit. Now I go to a residential model, that one. And before I link it inside the site plan, I will see the different option that we have to position this model. We have uh, uh, internal origin to internal origin and uh, center to center if we want. And we have uh, by share coordinate and other option in here if we want to link it manually. Let's see uh, with internal uh, origin to internal origin. I choose this positioning and I click on OK. Now we have the model that is linked in this way. I go into a site model in here and from here you see that I have in here that link model. I will just move it in here and now I will rotate this link model. I go in modify tab rotate and I rotate it 90 degree. Now I want to uh, position this link in the right place. I go to site here here and now I click on align tool from modify tab and I align it the slab with the slab in here and from inside this rotating wall to this rotating wall. Now I position my link in the right place but if I go to in 3D in here I see that the model floating a little bit to arrange that I go to est elevation and I click again on align tool I will align it with residence first floor with the in here first floor from residential model I click on tab to choose the right level and I click on constraint here to lock it now, if I go in a 3D, I have my link model in the, into the right place. Now, if I go in manage tab in here and I go to manage link, I have my residential model in here. But if I go down here, I have a different option. If I want to remove it, it will be remote from the model. If I want to unload it, that will be unloaded. And I have in here another option that allow me to reload from if there is a update to this project. I go to reload from. Now I have a different version of residential model here. If I reload it, I don't need to reposition it again. Just uh, update that. Now I click on OK. Now we see the linked model is updated and now I don't need to position. This is how we can link a Revit model inside a site model.